All right, guys, welcome back to the Bearcat Project. So I've been uh, making a huge mess getting this radial fitted up. You see I've got a plywood back plate, so this is mostly blocked off. And then we got passageways for the cylinder cooling through the top side. And obviously I had to clearance it so to fit in here. Uh, excuse my... My nose is stuffed, so I'm talking weird. Stupid allergies. But you can see uh, the mufflers peek through there, so that kind of sucks. But I'm going to paint all this stuff black, so we'll hide a lot of it. And I'm going to detail the motor out. But you can see, uh, one of the things that drives me crazy about fake radials and models is that people always put them too far, too close to the front of the cowling. If you look at a real Corsair, Bearcat, whatever, typically the motors are kind of far back in the cowl. Then you have all this, the crankcase, the, the gearbox stuff up front that sticks out. So, I've got it as close as I can get it. <clears throat> I can't really get the motor, the fake motor, any farther back because it's... I've, I'll, I'll show you guys when I pull the cowling off, but I had to take so much material out of these cylinders to get... The real cylinders to clear that that's really as far back as i can go so anyways that's where we're at i'll show you guys the back side of it here in a little bit you can see <laughs> it's starting to look a little different so i uh i discovered that the numbers and letters and stuff were actually vinyl and i was able to scrape them off but then it took the print the uh epoxy primer off just chipped right off with the 18 blade the flat blade so i'm at the point now where i can't just leave it like this you'll see all that when i paint it so i'm gonna have to basically strip the whole thing now so that really sucks um but anyways I'll keep going and uh hopefully we get these tail feathers on tonight and we'll get my frame glassed up for the canopy and I'm gonna glass in this radial thing back here, so. All right, so what I've done here is I have installed the canopy temporarily with tape. I've got it taped off with like a Teflon tape around the perimeter and the frames. And I've done uh, two to three layers of glass over the frame areas. These are gonna get cut out and then glued to the actual canopy. Uh, this has got a sliding canopy, so I wanted to do this nice and stiff. The original canopy was just plastic, didn't have any kind of extra frame on it, so it was super flimsy. So it would like bow and buckle and stuff, so I wanted to do it this way to keep it nice and strong. So tomorrow I'll sand that out, bondo it up, smooth it out, and then I'll pop it off, trim it out, and I'll have a usable frame. So that'll be pretty sweet. And then over here, we've got, uh, not pretty, but it's all glass in. I've got all these holes these old holes around the cowling that I've covered up so those will all get bonded on the outside tomorrow but I gotta trim all that glass so it's glass taped in so that way it doesn't break loose easily but yeah it's looking pretty good so anyways that's where we're at for the night and uh, yeah this is a great uh, series of shows it's called flying through time I got it on Amazon Prime for free. Anyways, cool stuff. You got Amazon? Check it out. Flying through time. Some of them are with Neil Armstrong, which is kind of cool. He's the host. Anywho, back to the Bearcat. So, everything's dried up now. I've traced out my frame outline, so now I'm just going to sand everything and then bondo it all in before I pop it off. Then once I pop it off, I'll trim it and then bond it to the new canopy and then cut the canopy separate uh, and then I'll attach, I'll glue this section down to the fuselage and then this section will be screwed in to the rails and this is the little that's where the cylinder is hooked up to so that'll have to get underneath the back of the frame that's what pulls it anyways, that's what we're doing more body work, yay! And then I'm going to keep going on the paint removal, which sucks. <laughs> That's not fun.
F15. Ooh, yeah, boy. All right, so I've sanded this, done some Bondo, and I got the filler on there all sanded out, and I got my canopy frames redrawn. Obviously, those are rough. They're going to be cleaned up a little bit. And then I got the cowling bodywork pretty much done. Just need to sand it out. Obviously, you got the paint removed. Same with the fuselage. I removed up to panel lines. And I may end up taking the stuff off the belly. We'll see. But anyways, um, yeah, it's all cleaned up for the most part. Just need to sand everything and give it some primer. But uh, yeah, not too shabby. Moving along. Just, I hate body work. Everyone hates body work. All right. So I just popped it off. You can see it's uh, pretty good. Here's the uh, original canopy taped on there. And yeah, got to trim this out. Keep on cruising. So I work with fiberglass and carbon fiber on a regular basis. But I hate working with this stuff. This is such a mess. Anyways, uh, this is a temporary canopy. This is not the final one. That's why I'm not super careful with it. But you can see I got the frame trimmed out. And you can see it fits pretty nice against the fuselage. The original canopy came down to here, this lower line. So once I strip the paint off, I'm going to kind of fair that line out so you don't really see it anymore. That way it's more of a... Anyways, the real Bearcat doesn't have a straight across line on the canopy. It actually comes and drops down. It drops down and then goes like that. Well, it would actually be up here higher. But because of the rail and everything else, it's not super possible and I'm not really concerned with it. But... Overall, pretty happy with it. So now I got to cut out my real canopy that I'm going to use, mark the frame out, mask it so I don't ruin it, and then glue it to the frame, cut out the two pieces, then glue this section. Actually, I could probably leave it all on, glue the front section, then cut it. Maybe that's what I'll do. That'll keep it nice and aligned the way it's supposed to be. So anyways, I'm going to have to make a new, this little part right here, is what screws the frame obviously this is where the old frame came to so not a big deal i'll just make a new one of these just a piece of aluminum so that'll go up underneath there and attach with a couple of screws and that'll pull it there's a big cylinder in here and those are the rails it has a uh some type of slidable insert in there that's threaded so Anyways, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Honestly, it fits really nice. Looks a little better than the original canopy, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah. So, let's keep making more mess. Yay for me. Alright, so, trying to help myself a little bit. So, uh, what I've done is I've panned the motor. And, obviously, because of the lighting... It's not super obvious, but it's actually pretty difficult to see the actual motor behind the 3D printed motor, which is cool. And then I painted the prop flat black and covered up the Hamilton standard stickers that everyone was telling me about. It's not a Hamilton prop. <laughs> totally get it. Had about five people tell me that. <laughs> so anyways, I actually would really like this prop. It needs to be about an inch to an inch and a half bigger to be perfectly scale but it's pretty close and the shape of the blades is fairly close to which i like um i don't like that the hub is so big it's freaking huge but obviously i still have to paint the crankcase and detail the 3d printed motor and this blue that i've sprayed on here is not the final color this is temporary paint job slash primer that i'm using so um it's actually not too bad. It looks kind of brighter than it actually is. Let me. It's more like that. So, anyways, I'm gonna paint the whole airplane with this stuff, um, and basically have a temporary paint job with just some real basic markings to do some test flying and stuff, and that'll become my primer essentially for my actual paint job. So, it's not bad though. I mean, yeah, excuse me, my nose is stuffed up. That's really what it looks like in person. So it's pretty close to the right color. But uh, yeah, pretty sweet. So got to detail that motor up. But uh, first I'm going to try and get this canopy all going, glued together and whatnot. So 
let's uh, jump onto that. All right, so I've got the body work done around the canopy. Um, you see I made a little step in the bondo right here. This is where the frame goes for the forward section. So everything's sanded and prepped. Um, <clears throat> I've got the canopy all scuffed with 80 grit. And then the back side of this is all scuffed as well. So everything's ready to go. I'm just going to use some 15 minute epoxy with some carbon powder in it to turn it black and make it a little bit stronger. So we're going to bond this down and bond the whole frame to the canopy all at the same time. So wish me luck. All right. So I got it all bonded down. Obviously it's all taped in position. Um, I use the uh, carbon powder and the resin and the epoxy for a couple reasons. One, it turns it black, so when you look from the outside to the inside of the canopy, the frames look black without me having to paint them. I might still paint them, but if I don't, then I'll just leave it black anyways. And also, it stiffens it up a little bit too, so it fit pretty good. So, I might have a little bit of cleanup work, a little bit of bondo work around it to make it fit really nice, but pretty happy with it. Just got to do some sanding around this area and some bondo work to get all that blended in real nice. Then once all that's done, then I'll, I'll cut the frame in half and then we'll remove this section. I did put some mylar tape down so that way if any of the epoxy does leak down, it won't cause the frame to glue to the fuselage. So should be fine about it. I didn't put that much glue on it. So anyways, looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna detail up the motor next. All right, so there you have it, just kind of quick and dirty on the engine. Uh, might do more detail later, but I'm gonna call that good for now. Grab this big old prop. Tomorrow, we'll just canopy dry overnight. And, uh, tomorrow we can take all that tape off. And yeah. That's pretty sweet. Anyways, we're gonna cut it short right there, guys. Probably already been a long video. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the progress and hoping to have this thing flyable by this weekend. Unfortunately, it's gonna be raining a ton, so probably won't get to fly it. But we'll see. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on the progress of the Bearcat, and we'll see you in the next one.